Hello my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson I want to explain to you how minor scales work on the saxophone and one little trick that's going to make it really easy to figure out your minor scales on the sax. These concepts actually apply to all instruments so even if you don't play the saxophone you're really going to get a lot out of this tutorial. Now I actually created cheat sheets for all the different scales in Western music including major scales as well as natural minor scales, melodic minor scales, harmonic minor scales, even pentatonic and blue scales and that's going to explain everything about western music about sharps about flats it's going to explain how you get the relative minor and i even give you a relative minor cheat sheet so you can figure out what the relative minor is of every single major scale so make sure to download that it's absolutely free and it's going to really help with following along with this lesson so the minor scale I'm going to focus on today is called the natural minor scale and it's also known as the Aeolian minor scale and this is the first minor scale you should learn in my opinion. There's actually dozens of different minor scales in western music and it can get really overwhelming, really complicated but if you start with the natural minor scale it's going to make it so much easier to learn all the other minor scales. So first of all you should know at least one major scale if not a few different major scales on the saxophone. I'm going to be using D major as an example to show you how to find the notes of a minor scale on the sax. The reason being is that every major scale has what's called a relative minor scale. So every major scale in western music actually has a corresponding minor scale and the major scale is actually identical to the natural minor scale. It just starts on a different note. So I'm going to use D major as an example and if you don't know the notes of D major that's fine. I actually have a video that takes you through all the notes of D major on the sax and I'll link to those at the end of this lesson and also in the description of this video. Because once you've learned the notes of D major it's going to make it so much easier to learn the relative minor scale and the relative minor scale of D major is B natural minor. So the first question is how do you find the relative minor of a major scale? Well it's really easy as long as you know your major scale all you have to do is find the sixth degree of that scale and that is the note that the relative minor scale starts on. So in D major we have the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B and C sharp. They're the seven notes of D major. So if we just find the sixth degree of the scale, we can find out what the relative minor is. D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. B is the sixth degree of D major, meaning that B is the relative minor of D major. So now we want to figure out how to play B natural minor. Well, it's actually the identical notes of D major just starting on B. So B natural minor is B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, and A. They're the seven notes of B natural minor. They're actually identical to D major, it's just that we're starting on B instead of D. Now you're probably thinking, well, why would you call that a different scale? It's all the same notes. Well, the point is when you start on a note B, it gives it a different sound. It gives it a different feel than if you started it on the note D. So I'm gonna play you D major first, and then I'm gonna play you B minor, and hopefully you're gonna be able to hear the difference in the sound, even though the notes are identical. So let me start with D major. And now this is B minor. D major again. So hopefully you can hear a difference between D major and B minor. Even though the notes are the same, they have a different feel, they have a different sound to them. And that's because we're emphasizing different notes. We're emphasizing D when we're playing D major and we're emphasizing B when we're playing B natural minor. And because of this, we get a different feel, we get a different sound. The B minor sounds sort of sad and melancholic. The D major sounds more happy and upbeat. So let's just play around with D major and focus on the note D as we're playing it. And you're gonna hear that we have this happy, joyful sound as we play the scale. So now I'm going to play B natural minor, which are the same notes, but it's going to have a different feel to it. So 
So I really hope you can hear the difference there. The minor scale is more dark, it's more gloomy, it's more melancholic, and the major scale is more happy and joyful and bright. So even though we're using the same notes, we're getting a different feel and a different sound, just because we're emphasizing B versus emphasizing D. So that's just a little introduction to natural minor scale, so try it. If you know a major scale, figure out the relative minor of that scale and start to play the major scale starting on that minor note. So if you have C major, the relative minor is going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, the sixth degree of the C major scale. So now we can start on A and make a sort of minor, melancholic, sad sound while we're playing the same notes as C major. So remember, you can actually learn all of these natural minor scales absolutely free using my saxophone scale cheat sheets, which you can get for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales. In those cheat sheets you're going to find all the major scales which is a great place to start and then you're going to be able to learn all your natural minor scales as well and I have cheat sheets for natural minor scales as well as melodic minor scales and harmonic minor scales. So I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it helpful. If you did please like this video and please subscribe and click that notification bell if you want more videos like this. I put videos out every single week on YouTube and I talk about all different topics related to the saxophone including scales, how to improve your tone, how to improve your technique, how to improvise on the sax and even how to learn songs step by step on the saxophone. Remember I have other lessons you can check out right now including how to play the notes of D major so you can start figuring out the notes of B natural minor as well. So click these video links if you want to learn more about how to improve your scales on the saxophone. Alright my friend, until next time, happy playing.